Marvel Noob Zone. Yo, noobs, what up? It is Elijah again. Now, you're in the noob zone, which means that you're noobs. And I want to make you not noobs. How am I going to do that? You have to understand one thing. Shortcuts. This, so this episode is about shortcuts, because seriously, when you don't know shortcuts, it makes everything harder. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take you through a few shortcuts uh, in this ten or so minute video, and we're just gonna just gonna fill your mind with shortcuts. First and foremost is Control S. Okay, that is the save key, save shortcut. That means it's gonna save your project. Why is this important? Because when you load a new plugin. Who knows, man? The thing could just crash, whatever. So just control S, control S. After everything you do, you delete something, control S, save it. Undo it, control S, just save. That is, um, like, I cannot stress that enough. That is your most important shortcut, all right? Now, next up, uh, let's say we're working on a project and we say, oh, you know what, I really don't like uh, these vocals. I want to retake them, okay? So, like, we'll just, um, but maybe the next time we do it and uh maybe the next time we do it will suck okay but we just want to make sure we have this older version of uh of the project okay so what we're going to do here is control n and what's that's going to do you look up here season two underscore four all right so that means that you're it's creating a new version of the file okay so if you decide later oh you know what that sucked you can just simply go back and open a new open the old file like that so um yeah anyways control n that's very important now i'm going to take you through um zooming because you know getting around your project is important so here's how i zoom uh there's many different ways but i'm going to teach you the way i do it because i do things the best way here we go Control scroll is your horizontal zoom. Okay, this is useful for when you're going as I showed you before how to slice Oh wait, I didn't show you that so I'm gonna do that right now. Let's go duh, duh. All right um, When you're trying to zoom in here and you want to take out these breaths. All right, so control is, ver is horizontal alt scroll bar is vertical zoom now this is important, especially when you're cutting um, breaths out of audio or, you know, say there's something in the guitar that you didn't like, like a little, you know, something that, if you believe. like in this part here, for example, um, then you can just simply cut it out. Now, cutting is also, it's very important when you're working with audio. I don't know if I went over this in the last one. I forget, but I'm going to do it again. Okay. So um, make sure this typing keyboard to piano keyboard is off this button here okay control t or just simply click this button off at the top all right now we press c and then this enables your cutting tool so there's a couple ways to cut you can just click and drag like that or what i like to do is hold shift and then click okay then you hold that's my phone oh, okay sorry about that um, all right. So anyways, I was talking about how to slice audio. So you hold shift and you left click. Okay. Now what that's going to do is going to slice on, um, according to what the snap says here. Now, if you want to snap, say you want to slice more precisely, like say I'm going to get this, get it right, like right in here. If I press shift and slice, it's not going to slice where I'm clicking because the snap is on. Right. So I'm going to control Z that undo. And then um, one way you can do it is go none. However, um, you can either click up here or a handy backspace is, or a handy uh, shortcut is backspace. Okay. And what that does is it takes snap off. So you go, you press backspace and, um, and then you simply go and cut um, all your parts out. However, there's also another shortcut to use here. All right. So I already sliced the one here and, uh, I put it back online. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold alt and then press shift. And that is going to cut exactly where you, um, press. Okay. I'm going to press B to go to brush. Hey, come on work. 
or not. Oh, I pressed V. <laughs> and then right click to delete. So let's try this again with this breath, okay? Uh, C for cut. Hold Shift, Alt, cut. And then what I'm going to do on this one, I'm going to right click on, uh, on by, by this breath, okay? Right click, and that deletes from the first, from the last cut to this cut, all right? So you can you can cut both ways. You can cut from here and then over here, and then as you, if you use a right click, it deletes, it actually erases what you, um, between the first and second cut. So you can do that anywhere if you want. Control Z is also always the handy one, okay? Now, I wanna talk a bit about Control Z because, see, I told you I'm going fast, fast. I'm gonna talk a bit about Control Z. Let's say you cut here, then here, and then here. All right, I want to go back to this first cut. All right, so if I press Control Z and then Control Z again, it redoes that cut. All right, now this is kind of stupid in my opinion, but I don't make this program, so uh, I'm gonna. This is gonna end a lot of headaches for people. What you do is you press Control Z and then press Control Alt Z. All right, and basically what that does, it goes back a step. All right, and it doesn't say that anywhere in here. Oh. Yeah, so Control Alt Z. See, it goes back a step in your history. So if I keep pressing Control Z, it'll keep going back in the history right here. You can see, and then pressing Control Z will go forward in history. Normally in programs, that's Control Z and Control um, Y or Control Shift Z, or Control Alt Z would go forward and Control Z would go backwards. You know what I mean? But in Fruity Loops, that is the way they roll. So. And that's just because they're awesome. Right? Right. Right, guys. Okay, now I'm going to show you a shortcut. This isn't like a keyboard shortcut, but this is a shortcut. Say um, I want to move these vocals to a different mixer track, but I don't know what mixer track this is on. Okay, so I go to my um, I go to my mixer here, and even if I click on the playlist, if I click the thing, if I clip the clip, it's not going to show me what clip it or what it's going to. So I'm going to show you a bit here. All right, you double click the vocals, okay? And it takes you to channel settings, okay? Now, it automatically switches the the focus on the mixer to that. But it, let's say the mixer is behind something, okay? All you got to do is double click this 9 here, the effects, and it brings up the mixer on the track you're looking for. So let's say I wanted to add reverb to these vocals or something. I just simply double click through and then add flanger if you believe me. yeah not keeping that so anyways that's a very very handy one especially um if you're trying to work quickly and see these background vocals and like oh i don't remember i want to put some stuff on there and that's back bg1 bg2 bg3 and you'll notice that i put all these background vocals in a vocal bus v bg bus okay um, anyways, back to that audio recording thing. Putting things in buses is always a good idea because then you can say um, put like compression on this vocal bus or put chorus or delay. All right. Now there's you can also use sends for that. However, instead of putting um, turning that up, turning that up, turning that up, you just simply route them to one bus. And the way to do that, I'll just show you. Okay. None of these are going through anywhere. You click on VBG1, right click, route to this track only. Same thing for BG2, same thing for BG3. Now they'll all be going through this vocal bus, all right? So you can take a listen. Can I, can I, can we, can we be my, be, my, be your, be your king, can I? So I got some pretty spacey delay delays going on here but anyways that's so, that's so you don't have to put a chorus here a chorus here a chorus here delay here delay here delay here you know you just get and another benefit to putting a bus is that you, so you can put EQ on all the backup vocals which you can't do with sends okay um, you use a one chorus one delay and one uh, compressor okay now uh, this is a very important shortcut as well it's called rename and normally in windows uh, when you try to rename something you press f2 okay that is the same thing in fl studio however 
it is not as exclusive to everything, unfortunately. So let's say I want to rename this main drums, okay? So I go, um, let's say I'm going through, blah, 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 there's my crash. Go to my main drums, okay? I'm going to press F2, and I'll be able to rename that pattern, okay? So I click on gra crash, and then, oh, no, I have to double click, and then I can rename this pattern, all right? Now let's say I want to rename a channel. Fortunately, you can do that with FL Studio, but things to watch out for. Rename the sampler into blah, okay? And then um, say I want to rename this kick, all right? And then I go, uh, I, do I accidentally double click this. If I press rename now, it's going to do the pattern because the pattern is in focus, okay? So you have to bring out the channel focus here. All right, this is kind of weird because when you, um, let's say I want to move this snare below all the hi-hats, okay? And uh, you'll notice the channel is open. It says SNA. I'm going to go, uh, the way to move these is press Alt and then hold Alt and press down. Okay. You notice I brought up the all. So anyways, uh, so I move this down, okay? Now let's say I want to um, rename that snare to, instead of SNA, a snare. If I press F2, even though the channel settings is open, it's not in focus, okay? So we want to click channel settings, then press F2. All right, so that's a very, um, you have to get used to the rename thing, unfortunately. And it works for everything, like mixer tracks. Fortunately, you just have to click on the mixer track and press F2, all right? Doesn't work on plugins, which it should. I mean, because this is in focus, right? And you can rename plugins by just pressing, ah, right click on the plugin name. So anyways, renaming is a little bit tricky, you know, um, but that's just the way it's programmed and we can't change any of that because there's no like uh, customizable hotkeys or anything like that. But, you know, still fun to use, no big deal. Now, um, recording, okay, um, I taught you how to do press R, okay, to record. Uh, can I? Unfortunately, when you press R, it starts, you can right click and then uh, recording starts playback. So you can, I, I enable that because I'm used to pressing R on like sonar or something like that to just record. Now if I press R and then I press R again, it stops recording but it doesn't stop the, pl the playback, um, which is familiar to more other uh, recording programs. DAWs is as it were. All right, well, I think I'll stop it there for now. I'm going to continue on with this song, okay? Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut all the breaths out of this um, this lead vocal. And then we're going to come back and I'm going to add some pads to this song. You know, add some, we'll do some MIDI next. We'll do some automation. And then uh, probably we'll just give it a mix down and do a little quick master on it. Show you how to get the biggest punch out of this song that we can. All right? So let's uh, see you back in the noob zone in a little bit. Peace.